The smallest toad that we have here at the Bronx Zoo is also the one of the highest conservation priority, and that's the Kahansi spray toad. Today we're gonna to be feeding the Kihanji spray toads. We have some baby crickets and we have two species of fruit flies. When spray toads are eating, they're really responding to the movement, so they're not gonna go for something dead. It has to be kind of a live creepy crawly. This is a baby spray toad. It's probably just a few days old. This is a juvenile toad probably a few months old. Uh, you can see it's starting to get its adult coloring. It's turning more yellow. This is a full-grown adult female. You see, it's quite a bit bigger than the babies. That chirping you're hearing is the males calling, because only the males call. Those calls hadn't been heard in their natural habitat for about a decade. There was only two places in the world that you would hear that, here at the Bronx Zoo and also in the Toledo Zoo because the species was declared extinct in the wild. Kihanji spray toads are from Tanzania. They come from the base of one waterfall fed off of one river, the Kihanzi River. The name spray toad comes from the fact that they live in a spray zone wetland that is created by water rushing over the edge of a gorge. And when that water crashed down into the rocks, the giant waterfall bathed the wetlands in a constant mist-like rain 24 hours a day. The toad was only discovered by an expedition from Tanzanian biologists in about 1996. But at the same time, a hydroelectric dam was being planned for the gorge. The dam was a good thing for the people of Tanzania because it supplies electricity to 40% of the people that live there. However, the unintended consequence was that it had a negative effect on the spray zone where the toads live. About nine months after they realized that the wetlands were drying up and the spray toads were imperiled, the Tanzanian government invited WCS to collect some of the toads. So we sent staff from the reptile department there, and we managed to collect 499 individuals. And we brought them back to New York. We split that group between us and the Toledo Zoo, because we didn't want to keep all those animals in one place, because at that point, those were all the spray toads that existed in the world. 